dear students welcome to abhi online classes today also we will discuss some more problems in probability senior inter maths to a paper exercise 9 below na another two important questions ee roju discuss cheyadam 10th question roma number 2 exercise 9b the probabilities of three mutually exclusive events are respectively given as 1 plus 3p by 3 1 minus p by 4 1 minus 2p by 2 prove that 1 by 3 less than or equal to p less than or equal to 1 by 2 here the three mutually exclusive events are taken as a b c and their probabilities are also given this is p of a p of b and p of c so given p of a 1 plus 3p by 3 p of b 1 minus p by 4 p of c 1 minus 2p by 2 for any event probability should lie in between 0 and 1 so similarly p of a also lies in between 0 and 1 in the same way p of b probability of event b also lies in between 0 and 1 and probability of c also lies in between 0 and 1 now we substitute in place of p of a 1 plus 3 p by 3 0 less than or equal to 1 plus 3 p by 3 less than or equal to 1 Zero less than or equal to p of b is one minus p by four. P of c one minus two p by two. Now we cross multiply. Three into zero zero. Three into one three. Zero less than or equal to one plus three p less than or equal to three. Zero less than or equal to one minus p less than or equal to four. 2 into 0, 0 less than or equal to 1 minus 2p less than or equal to 2. 0 minus 1, we bring here plus 1 to the left side as well as to the right side. 3p less than or equal to 3 minus 1. So minus 1 less than or equal to 3p less than or equal to 2. Into 3 to choose sir, keep by 3 out of the cover. Take minus 1 by 3 less than or equal to p less than or equal to 2 by 3. and we have to bring this into 3 to both sides so it will uh, turn to by 3 now plus 1 it is which is the minus 1 0 minus 1 less than or equal to minus p less than or equal to 4 minus 1 so minus 1 less than or equal to minus p less than or equal to 3 now we multiply throughout by minus 1 So multiply by minus one plus one greater than or equal to plus p greater than or equal to minus three. Now we write it in reverse order: minus three less than or equal to p less than or equal to one. Now coming to third, zero minus one less than or equal to minus two p less than or equal to two minus one. So plus one to which now at will now minus one ka turn out thende. So minus one less than or equal to minus two p less than or equal to one. Now we multiply throughout by minus one. It will become plus one greater than or equal to plus two p greater than or equal to minus one. Now we write it in reverse order: minus one less than or equal to two p less than or equal to one. Minus one by two less than or equal to p. Less than or equal to one by two. So this is equation one, equation two, and this is equation three. Since A, B, C are mutually exclusive events, so therefore, since A, B, C are mutually exclusive events. A intersection B equal to null set, B intersection C equal to null set, C intersection A equal to null set, 
A intersection B intersection C is also equal to null set. Their probabilities are 0. Probability of null set is 0. So probability of B intersection C 0. Probability of C intersection A 0. And P of A intersection B intersection C is also equal to 0. Now since for any event probability always lies in between 0 and 1. For any event we know suppose we take the event A union B union C this could not like the E event ki probability could 0 ki 1 ki pachilone hundundi. Now we apply addition theorem for this. Since all these are mutually exclusive events we can write it as a union axiom by using union axiom. This can be written as P of A plus P of B plus P of C less than or equal to 1. In the problem itself it is given P of A 1 plus 3P by 3P of B 1 minus P by 4 and P of C 1 minus 2P by 2. We substitute those values here 0 less than or equal to 1 plus 3P by 3 plus 1 minus P by 4 plus 1 minus 2P by 2 less than or equal to 1. Now we take LCM 0 less than or equal to 12 LCM. This is 4 times 4 into 1 4 plus 12P. This is 3 times 3 minus 3P. This is 6 times 6 minus 12P less than or equal to 1. 0 less than or equal to 4 plus 3 7. 7 plus 6 13 plus 12p and minus 12p will be cancelled minus 3p by 12 is less than or equal to 1 12 into 0 0 12 into 1 12 0 less than or equal to 13 minus 3p is less than or equal to 12 now we bring this 13 to both sides 0 minus 13 less than or equal to minus 3p less than or equal to 12 minus 13. Minus 13 less than or equal to minus 3p less than or equal to minus 1. Multiply throughout by minus 1. So this will become plus 13 less than or equal to becomes greater than or equal to plus 3p greater than or equal to plus 1. We write it in reverse order. 1 less than or equal to 3p less than or equal to 13. Now we bring this 3 to both the sides 1 by 3 less than or equal to p less than or equal to 13 by 3. We take this as equation 4. Now we combine all these three inequalities equation 1, equation 2, equation 3 and equation 4. We combine from 1 2, 3, 4. We must combine. We have to take the maximum of all the left values. What are the left values? Minus 1 by 3, minus 3, minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 3. We have to take the maximum of all these values. So maximum of minus 1 by 3 minus 3 minus 1 by 2 1 by 3 less than or equal to p less than or equal to p less than or equal to p and here also less than or equal to p less than or equal to p and we have to take a minimum of all the right side values 2 by 3 1 1 by 2 and here the right side value is 13 by 3 so the minimum of 2 by 3 1 1 by 2 and 13 by 3 so among these four values the maximum is 1 by 3 maximum value is 1 by 3 since all these are negatives Positive is the maximum value, no? So, therefore, among these four values, 1 by 3 is the maximum value. 
and uh, among all these four values the minimum value is 1 by 2 since uh, this is 0 0.66 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 and uh, 13 by 3 this is uh, 4 times again 10 so 3 times 3 times like that so among these uh, four values this is the least value 0 0.5 is the least value that means 1 by 2 is the least minimum value therefore the bounds for p upper bound is 1 by 2 and the lower bound is 1 by 3 so we must take the maximum of all the left values and minimum of all the right values so among these uh, 1 by 2 is the minimum among these values 1 by 3 is the maximum value so this is the very very important question Roman number 2 10th question very very important and we have proved p lies in between p belongs to the close interval 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 now we'll see roman number 2 third question in a box containing 15 bulbs in a box containing 15 bulbs five are defective so out of 15 bulbs five are defective that means the remaining 10 are non-defective. 10 are good bulbs and 5 are defective bulbs. So from this box we have selecting, we are selecting 5 bulbs. 5 bulbs are selected at random from the box. Therefore number of ways, number of ways of selecting 5 bulbs from 15 bulbs is n of s is equal to 15 c5 so first one question discussed is in the water answer look at the box the 15 bulbs only 5 defective one and the remaining 10 non defective one good bulbs are not if 15 bulbs which one of 5 bulbs select chase so number of ways of selecting 5 bulbs from 15 bulbs is n of s is equal to 15 c5 so 15 bulbs nunchi mana 5 bulbs select chesam ipudu find the probability of the event that events ki mana probabilities find out chestamu i think first event entity manam teesina 5 bulb none of them is defective anni good bulbs ayi undali none of them is defective first question second question manam teesina 5 bulbs lo only one of them is defective ante nalugu manchiga undali okkate chedda gondali only one last third question at least one of them is defective that means it is quite opposite question to the first question at least one opposite none so manam first question jayasam kavati the answer ni one lunch this is the manaki e question cancel solve so now 15 bulbs nunchi 5 bulbs select cheyadaniki number of ways 15 c5 a is the event first question a is the event that none of them is defective none of them is defective manam teesina five bulbs kuda good bulbs ayi undali aithe good bulbs manaki 10 unnai kabatti manam teesina five bulbs non defective bulbs avalante ee 10 nunchi raavali therefore number of ways n of a 10 c5 therefore p of a is equal to probability for this event p of a is equal to n of a by n of s 10 c5 by 15 c5 now we write 10 c5 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this is 10 c5 15 c5 is a 15 14 into 13 into 12 into 11 by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 cancel the denominator now 7 we cancel in 14 2 times again 2 8 low 4 times 5 table 2 times 5 table 3 times this 3 9 low 3 times now 4 3 is 12 and we can cancel 12 we got uh, 2 into 6 12 by 13 11 
that means 143 this is the probability for the event a that means none of them is defective manam teesinde 5 bulbs 15 bulbs lo manam teesina 5 bulbs kuda defect avakoddu none of them is defective that means 10 non defective bulbs lo nunchi maniki mana ee 5 bulbs teesinavi deen lo nunchi raavali anduke 10 c5 this is the answer for the first question now coming to the second question b is the event that only one of them is defective so 15 bulbs nunchi manam 5 bulbs tisna aa 5 bulbs lo okati maatrame defective ga undali migilina nalugu manchi vey undali aithe manchi man digara 10 unnai so 4 manchi raavali out of 10 non defective bulbs nunchi 4 non defective bulbs raavali and and into 5 defective bulbs nunchi okate oka defective bulb raavali only one of them is defective now we evaluate this 10 c4 means 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 5 c1 is anyhow 5 now we cancel 4 to 8 cancel this is 3 times So 10 into 3, 30, 30 into 7, 210, 210 into 5, 1050. This is N of B. Therefore, P of B equal to N of B by N of S. That means uh, N of B, 1050 by N of S is 10 C, 15 C, 5. 15 bulbs which are 5 bulbs is now covered. That is fixed for this problem. So N of S is 15 C5. So 1050, this is numerator. Whereas coming to denominator, 15 into 14 into 13 into 12 into 11 by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. This is denominator. So 5, 3 is 15, cancel this 4 3 times and this is 7 times so this is equal to 1050 by 7 into 13 into 3 into 11 now we cancel 7 1 time 5 times 150 times so again this is 50 times so we got 50 by 143 30 11 is 143 this is the probability for the event that only one of them is defective so manam this in the either bulbs 15 bulbs which one of five bulbs this one four non-defective bulbs are you one defective bulb are you 10 non-defective bulbs which are four non-defective bulbs are you five defective bulbs which are you defective bulb are you this is the probability in the Kimaram discuss Jason, third question is just the reverse for the first question. So that is, uh, we prepare this as A bar event that at least one of them is a defective. So at least one composite non kavati manum din ki A bar and pair beta directly we find out P of A bar is equal to. 1 minus p of a that means 1 minus 12 by 143 taking lcm 143 minus 12 by 143 that gives 131 by 143 this is the probability of the event that at least one of them is defective so in the coming classes we will discuss uh, multiplication theorem Conditional probability, conditional events, definitions and some problems relating to multiplication theorem. So, till now we have uh, worked out all the problems under addition theorem. So, next classes we will see the problems on multiplication theorem. Hope you understood this class. Thank you.